it is that time again. It is drip marketing time. However, it's not going to be too exciting this time because we pretty much already know who it's going to be. It's probably going to be the three characters we saw in the beginning or just a mixture of one of the trailer characters we saw. So no new characters most likely, but just what we've already seen. We'll just get some more info about them. So we're not gonna go like slow and you know see the reveal because we know who's gonna yep, okay. So first is Kachina. Since not long after we first met, I saw Kachina crying and I tried to hand her a handkerchief handkerchief handkerchief, but smiling back, she said to me, Don't worry, I'll wipe my own tears away. <laughs> okay. That was the moment I'll always remember. So don't you worry about her either. This girl's made of strong stuff. Just make sure you give her all the encouragement she needs. Huh. Now it's Mulani saying that. Okay. So, Kachina. Mottled. Mottled gold yet unsmelted. Oh boy. Hey, uh, AI, wanna help me out here? See if you can read that aloud. Nanitsuke and Young Brave Heart Vision. Nanin. Nanitsuke? Nanitsuke? Young Brave Heart. Of course, Geo and. Akotana. Akotana. Princeps? Akatona Princeps. Princeps, okay. I don't know why I said C. But yeah, uh, the cover art actually looks fairly, looks very colorful. Oh, I know, yeah, she has gloves on too. <laughs> I was like a pogo stick. What the heck? Oh, yeah, this cover art is like huge. Or I'm just tripping, but. Oh no, that's normal. No, but you know what? Usually you don't, like, for the English channel, they don't ever have, like, the whole thing. You know what I mean? Like, usually you gotta go to JP to see, like, the long version. You know what I mean? Like, they, they have the long version, but they usually have it cut off where you can't see the bottom. But, yeah, they have the whole thing, though. There's, like, a little bear on it, too. Or, I don't know, maybe a bear? Or maybe just what she is? What is she based off of? Like, what is she supposed to be? Because I'll be honest, I'm like, I'm dumb. I, was, I You know, I don't know a lot of things here. I don't know what they're trying to base this off of. Yeah. <laughs> what in the world is this? <laughs> Interesting. But that is Kachina. Uh, that's the, the one picture of her. There's the other one. Let's see the picture here. Oh, yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, it's very colorful. And even this is like sideways. Yeah, they kind of changed it a little bit. Her name's there twice as well. Yeah, it looks kind of different than usual. Hopefully she'll be like the, the more mobile type, as we've seen in the trailers. Okay, here we go. Just like other younglings of the children of Echoes, Kachina grew up surrounded by adorable... Oh, this is what it is? Okay. Tepetlisaurs? Teplisaurs. Shiny gems dug up from the depths and heroic stories passed down by tribal tribal elders. She came to know the mountain paths like the back of her hand, developing a great instinct and skill for her searching out of the, the treasures of the earth. In her leisure time, she and her friends would often visit the recording studios where musicians made their music. Really? Like in that land? Where they would dance freely to pulsing rhythms. Growing up in such an environment, the occasional bump or scratch was unavoidable. And when she hurt herself, Kashina would cry out in pain just like any other child, but long before others had recovered from their pain, she would have wiped away her tears and stood back up. Just like Milani mentioned. Of course, she mentioned or of course she understands why the adults might see her as a good kid, yet she struggles to comprehend why she of all people was given the name of U Utabiti. Utabiti. For the ancient poem goes the one who dares stand firm as a mountain, their bones like battlements, and hold the sun's gaze. It is that they shall be given unto eternity. Oh, so like basically kind of saying that she's a tough cookie, basically. But, I mean, I don't know about this part, but. Fear itself should instead fear me, for my body is like a roaring blaze, destined to melt down all that is mean and lowly. Then cast it once more as a epithet. Epitaph? What part of her lives up to the lofty spirit embodiment of this great name? The young Kachina has yet to figure this out. <laughs> but having been granted this great honor, she is determined never to give up, no matter how many of her bids at the pilgrimage of the return of the sacred flame end in vain. 
even if it means being ostracized and reproached by her by her peers or feeling disappointed inferior and at times nearly overwhelmed by landslides of negativity like landslides of negativity i'm gonna start using that in the end she'll wipe it all away uh with her tears but because one thing is for certain that Atabi kachina will never be defeated by her tears all right so you know tough cookie gets hurt cries like anybody any other kid but gets right back up and keeps going so all right welcome to the geo family this is the same channel posting this all right all right kachina that was pretty pretty understandable in terms of her character emotionally i guess so we got Kachina and we got Kanich. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> they're just they're certainly characters that just feel like they don't really belong in this this region. <laughs> Kanich looks like he came from a whole different region. I mean, like he has the the fit, I guess. I don't know, but Kanich, this servant of mine is no fool and nimble too. As far as servants go, his biggest fault is that no matter how hard you try, you simply can't get rid of him. I mean it. You literally will not die. <laughs> oh. Uh, have you ever heard of someone falling head first off a cliff and still surviving? Utterly infuriating. Oh, I see. So, <laughs> so does, does this little companion here, his little, uh, like, Naruto friend, is he, is, is this, does he, like, want him gone or something? Does he, is he, like, sick of him? Sounds like it. Also, I guess we don't get like an explanation for him either. Unless we do, but like I, I'm just seeing Kanich right now. I don't see Ajo. Name Kanich. Uh Turnfire Hunt Syrian Hunter. Oh. Interesting. So he's okay. I thought we were like friends with them. Hmm. But he's trying to hunt them down. Dendro and Chimeria Albrus, I guess. I don't know. There's your picture. Yeah, so we have like the whole thing this time. We have like a little dude with glasses at the bottom there too. Maybe maybe Ajaw can transform and look different. And also, yeah, you can see the background, the ring. That looks very different. Oh yeah, it's the different tribes, no? Maybe. Maybe it's the tribes. Welcome to the the Dendro family. <laughs> they ain't getting darker. Yeah, I can definitely understand people's frustration, you know, for sure. But it's one thing to charge a fee for delivering a letter, but charging for being a flame bear on turn fire night? It's outrageous. Is this really a hero of ours? It's not like you just it's not like you just met him today. Surely, surely you admit that he does his job well. That's all that matters. In that land where humans and Syrians live together in harmony, there have always been some some who've looked uh, askance, askance at Syrian hunters. In a land full of heroes, their practice of assessing commissions and settling price makes the profession even more controversial. A cruel, ruthless, cold-blooded killer, pragmatic, untilitarian, without so much as a hint of chivalrous decorum, in such heartless damning terms do people describe this young man that never argues back but what of it what a sentence <laughs> um as long as the price is right all commissions shall be fulfilled in a, sa a sat satisfactory manner all writhing raging aberrants return to the night kingdom from whence they came from whence you came once the bearer of the turn fire name has been locked onto a target, there's no looking back. Yeah, I mean, no kidding. Like, that's actually his thing, it seems like. Maybe this is HL. Maybe he just, he can change. Because, like, yeah, he has, like, this kind of grapple ability, right? Like, he can kind of grapple where he wants to go. I mean, I'm assuming this just means, like, literally, like, he's a hunter. So, like, once he has something in his, something in his sights, he's not going to let up. But also to the actual gameplay part of it as well. So. Yeah. 
yeah, you can see everybody's very upset with the, the skin tone of this character. And hey, there's Milani. Wait, did we? Yeah, okay. So is that it? Yeah, okay. So just Milani's the last one. There's not a spot in the whole of Natland this girl could couldn't reach if she wanted. So why does she come asking if it's an auspicious day for an outing? Every single time. Oh well, now that I have read her fortunes for a whole decade in advance, I finally have some peace and quiet. Oh, that was Set Lolly that said that. Okay. Hmm. So that that took care of it. She read her fortunes for a whole decade in advance. Hmm. Milani, split splash. That was taken effect. <laughs> split splash. Water wave chaser. Uh. Mestili, Mestili, Guide, Hydro, Boca, Neomonachus. Neomonachus? See, I like the way Milani looks in terms of like Natlan and tribes and like, you know, the regional basis. I do like how Milani looks. And, and Kachina as well. And then here's the, yeah, the picture's good too. I feel like they finally are doing like the long, the long pictures, which is good. And there's so much like paint too, paint in the background. That's the long one. There's this one. Yeah, Mez Mezli Guide. Says in terms of how well they know that land, perhaps even the birds that gaze down upon this land from high up above would fall short of the guides from the people of the springs. Long, long ago, their forerunners once measured the world with their feet, transforming the the winding, pearliest paths. They walked into networks of orderly lines on their maps. As a member of the People of the Springs, new generation of young guides, Milani has already established an element, or an eminent name for herself throughout Natland. With her to lead the way, you'd be sure to experience this particular site of volcanic eruptions, breathe in refreshing natural fragrances of ember core flowers even witness spontaneous performances put on by the packs of co uh, coholosaurus coholosaurus but likewise if there was any emergency or if there was an emergency or you just needed to be somewhere urgently she she'll find a way to shortcut you there as safely soundly and smoothly as possible everyone knows the routes the routes milani herself would tell you but timing is the key you can't just set up whenever you like. That would be extremely unlucky. Hmm. All right. So she's like, she's our guide. You know, I feel like every single time we go to a new region, we always have some kind of guide. So there you go. Milani will be our guide for Natland, at least in the beginning. You know, because we kind of had like Kali for Sumeru and. Uh, I mean, Toma kind of brought us into Inazuma, I guess. You know, Amber from Mondstadt. So, you like there's always somebody to be there for when you like walk into a new region. Um, I'm not that excited for Natland's lineup as I once would be before. It's just like a, it's a very like weird time we're in now where things are just kind of bleh. You know what I mean? Um. But I am excited just to see like what the Archon can do this time around and what Natland's thing will be, you know, like how uh, Fontaine was kind of like Numa Uzia and they were all like mo mostly DPSs. But I'm interested to see what they're going to do for Natland. So I don't know if I'll be pulling for any of these characters. I'm assuming maybe one of them is a four star because I usually or sorry, one is a five star. They usually do one five star, or two four stars. Cause I think about like last time it was Tainari and then it was like uh Kali Dori. So I'm assuming the same be the same thing we do here. I'm hoping Mulani's the five star, maybe. If not, then yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be doing much pulling for this first one, but we'll see, you know, which character ends up being the I need the Archon to perform well kind of character. <laughs> Probably in 5.1, but yeah there you go there is the drip market for 5.0 it's our opening patch for natlan and yeah that'll be all for me catch you guys in the next one